Fact is, Iowa's COVID-19 emergency policies, the ones we've been living under for the last two years, are done. Starting at midnight, Governor Reynolds says coronavirus is going to be treated just like the seasonal flu. Instead of three times per week, the number of cases, hospitalizations, and long-term care outbreaks, those will only be updated weekly. But one part of the emergency will stay, and it's that paraeducators get to keep on substitute teaching. Donna Fiscus was worried she'd be going without a job at BCLUW schools. You just couldn't ignore this. You need us. Um, and schools making the decision if they don't feel myself or others are qualified, then they don't use us. But again, they're calling me. Um, I'm qualified. I'm doing the job. So um, I'm glad I, I don't have to end it. Yeah, now she gets to keep helping fill that staffing shortage. And just in the nick of time, today's approval from lawmakers comes one day after the Board of Educational Examiners had an emergency meeting to pass this new rule. 45% of vacancies in Des Moines, for example, went unfilled. That means not only was there not a para, there was not a substitute, there was nobody teaching that class. It became a study hall. So something is better than nothing. And this gives something to those Iowa kids and it gives flexibility to Iowa school districts. Now, since it is an emergency rule, lawmakers say they're going to go back, review it over the summer, and try to figure out what's best to do for next school year.